Well, at least it wasn't two months ago. As much fun. This is just kind of gross. It's like mold. <laughs> it's uh, it's the growth of human population. I don't know. Actually, it looks. I, 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 you see, I actually kind of like these uh, these intermission loading screen things. They're kind of interesting to look at, but I can never quite tell like what anything is supposed to be made out of, even though it like doesn't matter. I don't know. It's all a bunch of weird shit. Also, welcome back to Ghosts. We are a dog. Dog. <laughs> Rex three three eight zero K nine, get it? Uh -huh. Get ready. We're in Infinity Ward and we're hilarious. Mm. Do you feel something for the dog yet? <laughs> Spoilers, dog dies. So uh yeah, we are actually going to take control of Riley this uh this mission. It's it's uh I have deja vu. Have we controlled the dog before? In some form of, yeah, I'm having deja vu completely from this mission. That is because this is one of the ones we failed at live recording. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Okay. Yeah, we were we uh for those who aren't in the know, which is basically all of you, who might be watching, uh, we were actually planning on doing this live, and blind, but both of those ideas kind of fell through. Well, semi-blind. Python knows what's going on. I have no idea. Well, no, I like I was planning on like streaming it for you blind myself, but that kind of didn't happen. And well, yeah, whatever, whatever. No one even cares. Now we got dog gray fix. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are we're we're back at the place we were in the first mission. Except it looks completely different outside, and there's like no reason for it. I mean, yeah, Odin fucked shit up, but I mean, it looks completely fucking different. It just looks like Jumanji happened here. <laughs> I will admit, I, I, I kind of do like this set piece. Just looking out of, across that whole expanse. And uh, you, you may or may not recognize this from early promotional material, if you'd been paying any attention at all to it. Because this was huge, this little scene here. I paid literally none, because I, like, majority of, okay, I say majority, majority of adults, I'm just gonna, you know, put that out there, everyone that still plays COD is, like, 13. <laughs> majority of adults didn't care less about this game. Uh, I kept getting emails. Because when I was like 13 myself, I uh, I, I signed up for the uh, whole email thing. It was, oh really? It, it wasn't good. It you joined on the email bandwagon. How's the emails going? These days? <laughs> well, I learned about a double XP weekend that happened a couple of weeks ago. I mean, <laughs> whatever, man. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's all right. I signed up for Cod Elite. <laughs> What a waste of money that was. Uh, so here we actually are in charge of the dog. Like before we were just pressing a button, now we're pressing all the buttons. Oh man, it's like you actually are the dog. My <laughs> other kin self is fascinated. <laughs> we even have the option to bark. Look at this. Fucking next gen bullshit. I'm just imagining now that this is just what happens with dogs, like, this big button appears in their head and they have to press X to bark whenever they want to bark. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's what happens. Call Dog QTEs. <laughs> press Y to hump leg. Press A to chase ball. So, uh, if you ask me, this would make dogs a lot more interesting. The dog collision detection isn't exactly the best. You get stuck on literally everything. Something, something tells me this wasn't tested through. No, no, but, but you see, realistic dog. <laughs> yeah, completely mo-capped and everything. Yeah. Yeah, you see, a dog would um would ram its face into a wall a couple of times trying to kill someone. <laughs> 
Realistic dog graphics. Realistic dog action. I like that. I, I, I like that one guy who's shooting backwards at a dog that is not even near him. <laughs> Man, have you ever heard of like friendly fire? Like, <laughs> fuck these guys. I'm not with them. I kind of did like that breach, like that breach sequence, because it's the exact opposite of what's been happening like up until this point in COD games, where you go in instead of they come out. So if right, I, well, let me let me just say I actually like the scope on the sniper rifle. <sighs> it it's disorienting for me because I'm used to the whole screen getting blacked out. I like that you actually do get to see a little bit, and the zoom is a lot clearer. Like it's it's not. I don't know. Maybe that's the X Bone 1440p <laughs> or whatever it is. You mean upscaled 720? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever the X-Bone claims it can do. Yeah, I've scouted 720p. Yeah. It's 1080p, right? It's the same thing. <laughs> Nobody can notice the difference between 720p and 1080p. That's impossible. No. What is this? Some kind of technological age of fantasticness? What is this? An age of magic pixels? <laughs> Anyway, I'm just ragging on this game because I'm already just. I don't know. So I just read something about a honey badger. Uh, I don't even know. I wasn't really paying attention. I oh right, that was the weapon I was using. Sorry. Yeah. Now and I picked up the bulldog, which is like a shotty, which keeps its cartridge on the end of the barrel. Which I'm not sure entirely how safe or like, uh, like even possible that is. Some like TFR goon should probably tell us something about that if they could. That'd be wonderful. Who cares, man? Who cares? It's the future. I I, I care. I care because that seems like a blow up in my hand if I ever thought to use it. It doesn't exist in the real world, so you don't ever have to worry about that. So you it, say? What if What if it does? All right. Then whoever made it is obviously obviously thinks purple is a food group. <laughs> Anyway, I, I like how they've just gone, like, full ferocious animal names for all their weapons. Hey, it's a honey badger! It's... it's a mildly annoying... mosquito. Ooh. Also, I, I kind of clipped through Riley on the slide down. I mean, the dog does have collision in normal gameplay, like when you're walking around, but apparently he doesn't when you're sliding. Fun fact that, like, aren't so fun. Here's a weapon you have to avoid, the, mold, the moldy badger. It's been left out for a while. In the rain. Oh it's a moldy God. badger. But in all seriousness, that's just really bad naming gimmicks. Well, you see, honey badger don't care. Oh, please don't. <laughs> I do like that there's just a ship. Yeah, just this is a boat. Good boy, right? Just a boat. This is in a middle, ship in the middle of nowhere. Just a boat. That dog just killed someone who screamed really loudly that you were <laughs> able to hear from your distance, but no one else did. Nah. No. Nah. Realistic. Realism. <laughs> Look at this dog. Look at that dog. Dog graphics. That dog. He's like super stealth mode right now. You can't even. You can't even see him. He's invisible. Literally immortal. <laughs> This, uh, I'm going to say it right here, this is going to be the longest dog segment of the game. Also the last. Enjoy it while you can, I guess, if you enjoy this kind of thing. It's, it's the last dog section in the entire game? <laughs> yeah, the only one, or the last one where you actually take exclusive control of the dog, as far as I remember. Which I could be misremembering, so... Oh wow, they blew their wad really bloody quickly then. <laughs> it's, it's not... Hey guys, we, we got a realistic dog! You only use it in the second mission, and then it dies. It's not entirely all that great, because it's a bunch of tall grass, and that's about it. Calling it dog dies. <laughs> How else are they going to make you feel emotions in a game about shooting people? <laughs> they have ways. 
it turns out that the dog had a family and he feeds the homeless on weekends. <laughs> Just to make it more sympathetic. Of course. Of course. Also, one kill animation. Always going for the throat. Well, what else is a dog going to do? Pick up its weapon and start shooting people? That would make this game instantly amazing. <laughs> but no. I mean, it could go for the scrope as opposed to the throat. Well, well, whoa, whoa. Hey, no. That's right. not. That's not. Let's not go too crazy here. That's not. That's it's not even. Not fun. having babies ever again. <laughs> you see, I'm a but merciful. Seriously. I'm a merciful dog. I I could have easily just you know. Down to that guy, but nope. She's gonna walk right on past. Okay, let me point out something really stupid I just noticed. Mm. Look at the battery in the top uh top right hand there. Mm -hmm. it, how is that a good measurement of battery life? <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I didn't even notice that there was a battery meter up there. So you're obviously paying that much more attention to it than I am. I understand batteries, right. They have liquid in them. It's like acid, etc., etc. Mm. I don't really want to go into details because I'll get it wrong and I'll get corrected. <laughs> Someone tell me what's in batteries. There you go. But um, but like it doesn't have to be represented by liquid mm. in the actual battery. Cap. Like there's a reason why batteries have bars these days. <laughs> Because, <laughs> oh, oh, this game, oh, it's already making me hate it. <laughs> and we're only, what, three episodes in? Two episodes? Sadly enough, I find that it gets a little better later. Only a little bit, though. Not, like, astounding, but it gets, it, it gets okay. The story's still stupid, but the set pieces are pretty nice. And that's all I'll say about that. Pretty much Call of Duty's whole shtick since Call of Duty <laughs> Modern Warfare. Pretty much. You can tell these are the bad guys because they're killing people. You can tell they're the bad guys because their name on the bottom is red. Well, actually, he didn't kill him, but, um... <laughs> he sure pretended to. Oh, man. He sure got us. So you can tell he's evil. Cause he made the other guy shit his pants. <laughs> So yeah, that is essentially the end of this dog segment. All we have is on a little, little travel bit, and that's it. Fantastic, wasn't it? Look at all those guys we could have not done anything to, because they're all covering each other's backs. Man. I mean, all gillied up was better than this. <laughs> but you weren't a dog. Alright. Also, I got really confused here. I was unsure completely where I was going, and then that thing turned around to me. I'm like, oh god. Weren't you in, just in a ship? I was. And then all of a sudden, I'm ahead of where the dog even was. No continuity whatsoever. <laughs> Thanks, Infinity Ward. Oh, we did it the first time we took control of the dog, too. We were outside of the, uh, the car blockade, and then we ended up like inside of the gated area. Mm. Oh, shit, earthquake. Oh my god. All the earthquakes. Also, no clip has apparently been established. No, the spoilers is you're actually a ghost. You're oh. Bruce Willis. You were Bruce Willis all along. And you take control of the dog <laughs> by inhabiting it as a ghost. Oh, cutie. Captain Price would have just snapped this thing's neck by now. Fucking Scary Logan. dog graphics! Fuck, fucking Logan Walker's a weakling. Captain Price is the true American hero. You shot it in its butt. <laughs> what was you that about? You can't actually aim down the sights in this segment. So. Hey guys, remember, remember Last Stand? <laughs> yeah, we remember it too. Also, we finally see the titular Ghost Squad. Not all of them, oh but these two are suffice for now. It's an entire team of ghosts from Modern Warfare 2. Hey, alright, Ghost had a tragic story. I'll not have you besmirch his good name. He was the most badass of the squad. 
He got... Okay, he got burned, okay? Have you gotten burned? Um, regularly. <laughs> Every night, I get burned by someone. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, sick burn, dude. Hang on. Off. And that's my story. <laughs> hey, he was Craig Fairbrass, that's all I need to know. It was a fake gate all along. Yeah, well. They can't People look at it. People look at it and they're like, oh shit, we can't pass this. Hesh walkers. They like, just got fooled. Also, look at that sweet ass fucking uh, hover boat. I'd steal that and take it for a joyride. Hell yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. That's about the interesting part of the level out of the way. Now we get to shoot the mans again. Fantastic. Yay. Generic shooting uh, mans action. I'm also, gonna go take a nap while this session's happening. Can you wake me up when it's over? This is how sniping is supposed to work out, Fox, by the way. You kidding me? I was perfect. <laughs> I ruined those people's day. <laughs> Man, I chose the worst two weapons to show off in this video. <laughs> it's either, hey, I'm way the fuck back here, you can't hit me, or, hey, I'm up in your face, come hit me. We never said you had good, um... So what I'm looking for? I don't know. Good judgment? This game is... Judgment. This game is so boring, it's actually making me forget the English language. <laughs> yes, we never said you had good judgment. Well, of course not. I'm, I'm let's play in Call of Duty games. I was playing the worst Call of Duty <laughs> game. <laughs> and what but in the end, in the end, they're all exactly the same. Pretty much. And I really just, uh, I'm sick of seeing the same old shtick. <laughs> oh, thank God I decided to join you on this. Yeah. What a brilliant idea that was. Mm. <laughs> I like the dual drum barrel throw. Is I, it dual or is there only one? That's two, technically. Also, I picked this weapon up just in time for the level to end. How about that? Thank god we never get to show it off. Yeah. 